Hey guys, look at Trey. So guess what guys, if you ain't doing YouTube in 2022, get at it guys. Go for it, just go for it. Cause I'm about to tell you some tips and some videos that you can do to get some views. YouTube gang, what's up, Anna Signature Squad? Good morning. So, guys, I'm I posted a video on my channel about three to four days ago, um, telling you guys, giving you guys tips on how to start a YouTube channel and a little guideline on how you can go by in preparing your channel, starting your YouTube channel, creating your names and etc. So this morning guys, I'm going to give you a little idea or some videos that you can use to get your channel up and running or to get your channel blowing up in 2023. So guys, many persons have done this already. If you go on YouTube, you'll see persons giving you ideas or videos that can get you blowed up in 2023. I jotted a few stuffs down. So I have about 30 videos that I'm gonna tell I'm gonna give you some information on or I'm just gonna talk a little bit about them. These are some videos that you can use to start a YouTube channel in 2023. And guys, YouTube, I'm, I love YouTube. If you're gonna do YouTube, do it for passion. Do it, do it for a passion of you liking to vlog, you like posting contents, and so forth. So I have here 30 videos that can get you blowing up in 2023. And guys, please help to get me to 2K, please. Help getting me to 2K. So guys, I'm going to give you 30 of them and I'm going to elaborate a little on these topics. I actually did the video last night, but because the kids were making a lot of noise, I don't want to post that video. So I'm redoing it for you. Number one, get to know me tags. That's actually introducing yourself like welcome to my first youtube video my name is anna mitchell i am age i was born in and you can state your parish and tell them a little about yourself your favorite food your favorite color you can just say a little bit about yourself number two you can do a q and a basically a q and a is about um Asking persons on your different social media tags and, or asking your friends to ask you a few questions and then like you can introduce. Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome to my channel. I'm about to do a little Q&A video. My friends have asked me some questions. You can do it like that. Day in my life. What you do on your day-to-day -day basis. You don't have to do it every day. You can do it every other day. You wake up in the morning, you start vlogging. I'm about to make breakfast for my kids. I'm about to drop my son to school. I drop my son off at school. I'm about to prepare the baby for his day. You can do a weekly vlog. Weekly vlog is summarizing everything you did throughout your week. We, the birds, them just sound so nice. Breath of fresh air. You can do a weekend vlog. A weekend vlog they just want to know what you've been up to for this weekend so if you went to a party on a friday a saturday or a sunday you can just summarize up everything get ready with me basically you are getting ready to go out to a brunch you take your outfit out i'm wearing this bag with this outfit and i put out three outfits let me know which one of them look nice or and a maintenance vlog maintenance vlog can be a your hair, your nails, your pedicure visits, how you install your wig. 
or how do you install your first wig? You know that if it's a closure wig, you know you cut off your lace and if you have to use like a makeup on the lace. I use the makeup on the lace and then I put a like a got to be glue spray and I install my wig and I brush it out. You can talk and do a get ready with me vlog. I explain already. You're getting ready. You can do a like a story time. If you have a natural hair, you can do a video of explaining how I care my natural hair, all the products that I use, the shampoos and the conditioner that I use to wash this natural hair. Birthday vlog birthday prep like you how you prepare you're going to do shopping for your birthday you're going to do your hair for your birthday unboxing videos you can unbox an appliance you can unbox a phone you can unbox a tv pack with me for my vacation basically you're going to put everything in the suitcase and tell them this is for Monday, this is for Tuesday. You can do a vacation prep, that's number 50. You can do a drive and chat with me. Testing different foods. You can test different foods. You can do a, or a mukbang. You can do one with burger, one at Wendy's. You can do, even do Starbucks. Number 18, how I edit my YouTube videos. The apps that you use to edit your YouTube videos. It can be so simple if you use InShot, if you use Canva, if you just use a regular iPhone. Because you do can edit your videos on your iPhone in just the little regular app. Number 19, how I take pics for Instagram. Yeah, how you take your pics or how you edit your pics for Instagram. Number 20, cook with me. That's simple. Number 21, you can do a shower routine. You know you're not going to show your private ears. You're going to show your foot and you're going to show how you wash your face and wash your neck and them places there. Number 22, come feminine shopping with me. You're going to a regular Chinaman store. You can go and buy a little feminine wash, your dove soap, your sanitary pads or all of that. Number 23, you can do a travel vlog. You don't have to be traveling on a plane. Travel with me to Black River. Travel with me to Kingston. Number 24, how I take care of my toddler. Or if you don't have a toddler, how I take care of my sister, how I take care of my brother, or being a mother for a day. You know, you just borrow somebody, child. Number 25, do group videos. So basically, doing group videos is you having a group of friends and you just do a chit chat. The chit chat can be about um, would you date again? The type of man that you'll date. Number 26, what's in my bag? What's in your handbag? Your lip glass, your little sanitary pads, your purse, whatever is in your handbag, you can vlog about it. Number 27, you can do a morning routine. So the morning routine basically is, yet again, getting up in the morning, summarizing everything that you are you're going to do in the morning for instance my daughter goes to school 5 30 she wake up about 4 30 i get up i make her some breakfast we make up as a cornmeal porridge yes and then i probably help her to iron her school blouse help her to clean off her shoes and then i go ahead and start cleaning the house and preparing for when the baby wakes. So that's another little thing that you can do for your morning routine. Number 28, you can do an easy makeup tutorial. Guys, you don't have to be perfect while doing this makeup. You can go ahead and watch other YouTubers and see how they do their makeup. You get your little brown or black pencil, you comb up your eyebrow. If it's even with a comb, you draw your brows. You use like a mascara and put on your lashes. You apply a little foundation to the face. Then you put on like a blush or any little thing. And then you can tell them the type of foundation that you use, whether it's Maybelline, whether if it's LA Girl. This is the foundation that I use. You can go and put on your a little powder, stating whether it's black opal or whatever. If you see even a Maybelline powder or a Fenty, it doesn't matter. You can just do that and you can chit chat a little while so you can 
build time for your videos because you know so you, we want the videos to be over 10 minutes or 12 minutes and you can do pranks me i cannot do pranks me can't manage pranks because my kids them probably if i start doing it they'll come in to start doing it but me can probably drop in one and two pranks when we're ready but i'm not sure about the pranks and you can do story times story times is good um people like watching story times i think story times can get you lots of views if they are interested if there are interesting topics like relationships or past things where you used to do when you're smaller where your parents used to do you just can't sit down and do like a story time whether story time with your partner or a story time with your kids you can or you can just sit down and do story time by yourself but nobody just sit down and do a boring story time do a story time where everybody will watch and everybody will laugh and chat about it after and go back go watch it again do story times like those so guys this is just my this is just 30 of the stuff that i think i would try there are like a hundreds of stuff that you can try to make your youtube video more enticing lots 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 of stuff stuff that i did not put in here but there are stuff that you can do to get views to get subscribers to build up your watch hours because we want the watch hours the watch hours is what we want we want them to come back and watch the video all two or three times yes so this is just my little picks and tricks on stuff that i probably do in the future or i will be doing in the future so guys i want you to remember to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed as yet like up the videos, comment on the videos, and guys, please remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a new video. So guys, you, you should be doing YouTube, honestly. If you do hairdressing, if you're a makeup artist, it is so easy to do a YouTube channel because every day you have to have something to post. Every day. I usually post every day. Can you know me still young and fresh? I just started my channel probably four months ago. But the thing is, you know, me did a way my mind. Because you know me, me created a YouTube channel here from 2019. And I was so camera shy. And earlier this year, my cousin came down from Canada. And he said to me that, why you don't do YouTube? Me think YouTube will fit you because... You know, just find something there. There, I see people doing all sorts of stuff on YouTube, and I'm like, YouTube is not for me. Me too shy. Me don't know what figure to do on YouTube. And he was like, try YouTube because YouTube can, is broader. You can actually start a business, and YouTube will carry far for you. And then when he told me that, I was like, okay. And at the time, I was going through a lot, and I was like, okay. I think that I can do a YouTube channel. I can create one because it would like to help to drift my mind from certain thoughts, like oh, certain overthinking. And I can vlog about life experiences itself. I can come up with topics of what stuff that I'm going through or stuff that I went through. And it's, I'm loving it. Um, I might not be getting the views because let me tell you guys, when you create a YouTube channel, People who you think is done for you is not going to watch your channel. A people who don't know you are going to watch your channel. A people who don't know you. The people them who you think are your friend and they're going to help build your thing, they're not going to watch your channel. Because that's what I see. When I look, I see people, them say them watch the channel, yet they don't comment on your stuff. Because let me tell you, commenting goes a long way. When you comment on a person's video, let me tell you, it boosts them confidence. When me, me see people comment on my video, I tell you something. I have this um, lady on my channel. I'm not sure if she's Jamaican, but she started her YouTube channel and I subscribe to it because I like subscribe to young YouTubers. 
um, subscribed to it and I started watching her stuff and I give her some little comments and she started doing the, the same thing to me and I felt so good because it boosts my confidence it let me know that actually my ideas is helping others so pe don't expect that people who are your friends are going to push your YouTube channel they are not <coughs> I'm sorry it people it's people who are not in your corner who is gonna watch your YouTube channel so if you want to start YouTube or if you're a youtuber now and you find out so your channel now get the push where you think you should get still push your channel one day me hear YouTube and say it take them four years five years to get 10,000 subscribers 10,000 subscribers it take them four years and I'm like four months I started four months ago and I have a thousand and nineteen subscribers it go up and come down because someday them them unsubscribe for what I don't know I cannot help that and some days the subscribers just go up so promote yourself Go into the supermarket and take people phone. Tell them, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell on them phone because one day they might go find a topic interesting and they probably will sit down and watch your channel. So don't quit. Don't quit. If you like the YouTube, do not quit. So this is just a little thing that I want to let you know. Sometimes you're not going to want to pick up your phone and vlog, but guys... It's just one of them days. I don't feel like doing it sometimes too, but because that's something where me love, me love it. Me no know. I have just have a passion for YouTube. That's why I need a YouTube. So this is just my little video. I want you guys to have a great day. Have a lovely day. Remember to pray. Remember in everything that you do, pray before you go at it. Read a scripture. Read your Bible, read a Psalms, chant a Psalms. But in everything you do, remember to put God first. Have a blessed day.